Are you guys excited for Breath of the Wild 2? I mean, remember this thing? This little master, what is this? What would they call this? Special edition, that's right, the master's edition actually came with a master sword statue. This was something that came out with Breath of the Wild back in 2017. If you were fortunate enough to get your hands on one of this, there were different special editions depending on the region. But the reason I am bringing this up and the reason I'm even mentioning Breath of the Wild today is because we're actually going to visit some rumors about Breath of the Wild 2 that actually date back a little while. And they date back a little while because I've been keeping tabs on this rumor for about six months. And that's because I've been waiting to have an excuse to talk about it because it's such a really cool concept for what Breath of the Wild 2 could be. Now, I don't have any additional information today to verify that this rumor is true. But I hadn't checked on this rumor in about a month and magically it vanished. The original source of this rumor is gone. I'm not really surprised, but then I am because typically this would just be archived and be up for all of eternity based on where it comes from. Now, before I get into what that rumor is and get into all the nitty gritty details, we got a Breath of the Wild related giveaway happening. In fact, when we hit 80,000 subscribers, we're beginning a brand new giveaway. So why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, wait, you wanna know what we're giving away first? Well, first off, what's wrong with you? You should just enjoy this video, drop a like, leave a comment, and wanna subscribe, but all right, you want, you want a little bit of incentive. Well, what if I told you we were giving away a replica Breath of the Wild Master Sword? Steel Blade, yeah, full size, big boy, oh, not, not good enough. Fine. We're also giving away a replica Hydean shield and a replica Deku shield from Ocarina of Time. Good enough? I hope so. That's three different winners, by the way. It's not one person walking away with all three. Three different people are going to get to win, but you can't enter right now. There actually is no way to enter because the giveaway hasn't begun. It's just a 80,000 subscriber celebration. So what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. I know you want to. All right. So look, before I jump into the rumor, I think we need to get a bit more comfortable, a bit more relaxed, a bit more in my element and get off this stupid, crappy wireless microphone system. All right, editor, hey. Okay, when, when, when I clap, editor, you're supposed to switch. Ready? Let's try this again. Ah, uh, yes, that's better. Editor, you're fired. Anyways, uh, we this rumor for Breath of the Wild 2 comes from 4chan and this is why we didn't cover it six months ago i don't really cover a lot of stuff from 4chan yes legitimate stuff does leak on 4chan and a lot of made up crap appears there as well but 4chan keeps permanent archives of all the threads and all the posts like that's just what they do unfortunately for some reason at some point last month or maybe i guess some point in early july here this post got deleted really strange Thankfully, I was able to actually find an archive of the information through a Reddit thread. And uh, through the screenshot that I had, which was hastily done on my phone, so I'm not really going to share that. I'll just share the Reddit one. Uh, the information all lines up. So this is the same information that was in that Reddit thread. And it paints a picture for Breath of the Wild 2 that puts us in a very precarious place. So let's dive in to what's on my screen right here. You guys wanna know what it is, right? You wanna know the details? All right, let's just get into it. All right, editor, you're, you're, you're rehired. Come on, when I snap the finger, you, you, you know what to do? No, not that! Zoom out, please. Thank gosh. Let's try this again. So here you're seeing a uh, 4chan user claims that Breath of the Wild 2 info, and, and you know you see the disclaimer at the top. And I, I truly believe in this disclaimer, uh, guys. This is tinfoil hat territory. This is uh, get your skepticism radar beeping at max. Uh, but hey, this would be really cool if it happens. And I always love excuses to talk about Breath of the Wild 2. So hey, you know what? Let, let, let's just see if how much of this comes true even if it ends up just being a prediction. So I know this is 99% fake, but I, it was interesting, and I figured it would be documented just in case it turned out to be real later on. Again, really glad this user did that since the original 4chan thread is dead. All right, we've had enough BS things come true on here in the past. 
that I know anything is possible. The reason I'm not having the master, the reason for Link not having the master sword uh, at the beginning, anyways, is that Link returned it to the Korok Forest, which is now floating in the sky. So this would be in the early game. So the very first trailer we saw in early game, Link didn't have the master sword. Obviously, we know he later on has the master sword, but he probably got it while floating in the sky. Maybe I don't know. That's what it suggests. Your game difficulty is the same. It's not hard or easier. This is in comparison to the original Breath of the Wild. Uh, more traditional dungeons, as well as a replacement for shrines, which are even older. Runes located all over the world. Setup is like the first game, just a bit more dramatic intro. I'm curious about that, because the first game, Link was sleeping for 100 years. So <laughs> I'm not really sure how the setup could be the same, but they do like sleep. So I guess there's that. Uh, mostly the same enemies with some evolutions, which is something we've already seen in the trailers. Uh, music is still simple, but sounds out of tune. Okay, that would kind of fit in with Breath of the Wild. New underground enemies that can play around with time mechanics. And this is this is the interesting aspect here. Items still have the same durability, but there are some enemies that have a time reversal mechanic that ends up with your weapons healing each time you strike them. Really strange, right? The plot revolves around the manipulation, time manipulation, and another dimension. Again, time. We haven't really had time manipulation since... What, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask in particular? Uh, plot revolves around... Uh, green arm is a motif for courage. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be too surprised there. The arm is the last power from a sage that gives you new mechanics. Zelda plays a role in character swap mechanics. So you get to play as Zelda. Not, not the first time we've heard something like this. She's in another dimension, and you have to switch characters for puzzles to influence the regular Hyrule overworld and vice versa. Lots of teamwork between Link and Zelda. Zelda has the Sheikah Slate, which, not, not too surprising there. She did take it from Link at the end of Breath of the Wild in the true ending. No real combat for her from what was played. Mostly stealth and puzzle solving for Zelda. No gear, inventory, is just materials and quests. So what's interesting is obviously this person did claim to actually play, a.k.a. be a quality tester for Nintendo. Uh, Link only uses the new powers uh, from the Sages, while Zelda uses the slate features from Breath of the Wild 1. There's going to be a ton of Ocarina of Time references, but if there's a bunch of time travel or time mechanics... I said, I'm not really surprised. Ocarina of Time gets referenced a lot. Uh, identity of the lead, lead sage should satisfy you. Whatever that's supposed to mean. That's a direct quote. Surrealist tone. Kill the past story about champions taking place as new sages. More traditional Link, Ganon, Zelda plot. I wouldn't really be too surprised. I mean, in the past when we've had characters die, they've sort of become sages. So it, I guess it would make sense if the champions became sages. Also, I have some additional information here. Uh, potential leak that might maybe add some credence to this, but we'll get to this in a moment. So uh, there are six total dungeons, which I would like to see like nine or ten, but hey, six is better than zero. Uh, it takes place almost immediately after Breath of the Wild 1. I'm not surprised. Zelda did mention at the end of Breath of the Wild 1 there was more to do. And never saw Ganon, but from what he saw, he can understand that the undead form of Ganon is invincible. And Link and Zelda have to work to restore Ganon's physical prime form to be able to injure him. Bolson dies and is now a ghost who gives hints like Cass in Breath of the Wild 1. And when asked to list three things that weren't in the trailer, he replies, uh, there's Lamb Mola that are like the size of two horses that burrow between Sky Islands, double sword weapons, that's going to be sweet, and a power that both slows time and speeds up Link. Now, some of the stuff I've actually talked about before, uh, so not all of this you know, supposed rumor is new to our channel we, we've actually had conversations on a few things from this leak before but never the entirety of it and all the deep dive time mechanics but one reason i wanted to visit this so in depth today is because our good friend mike odyssey you guys may know him as nintendo academy he's rebranding here soon to mike odyssey uh he was gonna have all of the zelda voice actors on an upcoming uh nintopic podcast which cool like that that was gonna be a really cool thing he had it locked in with the agency and when he was advertising the podcast, which they requested that he does, uh, he accidentally let slip out a few times references to Breath of the Wild 2, sort of inferring that this is the voice cast from Breath of the Wild 2, which he doesn't actually know. Now, on this voice cast included basically all the champions, voice actors for Princess Zelda, etc., etc. So it was, you know, a bunch of people from Breath of the Wild and from Age of Calamity. What was interesting, oh my gosh, this is the thing. Here's what's interesting about that is they canceled on him because of the Breath of the Wild 2 references, 
uh, and were actually seemingly panicking about those references as if it was a leak, even though Mike couldn't possibly leak something he doesn't actually know. Remember what this said, the champions return as potential sages. That sort of cancelization due to the Breath of the Wild 2 references, a lot of the champion voice actors are the champions back. But they're not back alive, they're back in sage form. Wouldn't that be extremely interesting? Obviously they can come back in different ways, but I'm just pointing out, kind of interesting. Now, the time mechanics are what get me here, messing with time. Again, not a new concept for Zelda, just not something we've done in quite some time. A.G. Anuma in particular has a lot of experience with time mechanics because he was the director of uh, Bajora's Mask and, you know, obviously he played a massive role on Ocarina of Time as well. But he's also not the director this time. It's the same director from Breath of the Wild. So I actually think that there's going to be a lot of fun stuff happening with this. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I might have a deeper discussion on this at some point in a future podcast. I'm actually looking to start up a bi-weekly Zelda podcast once we have a release date for Breath of the Wild 2. I already got HMK locked in for that podcast, looking to get Game Over Jesse locked in and get a rotating table of Zelda experts in to talk about you know, theories and, and rumors and actual you know conversations around Breath of the Wild and, and, and what what certain other games might mean for Breath of the Wild 2, Age of Calamity. So it's going to be crazy. I don't know when that podcast is starting. It'll be right here, though, at this set. And you guys like this? You guys like that little background back here? I don't know. It's pretty sick. I uh, talked to the uh, the artist who, who created this, and now we have it up here in the background. Pretty cool. Anyways, um, that's all I got for you right now. You guys let me know your thoughts on this rumor, your thoughts on this stuff with Mike. And, uh, all right, editor, you can, uh, wrap her up now. You know, throw the fancy music up. Cue the music. Cue, cue, cue the ending. Subscribe. Like. Something. They're still here. All right, well. I guess the Nintendo Prime sword's gonna have to come after you. Ah!